Since the dawn of time, when humans first crawled out of the swamps and looked into the sky and asked, what is that big golden yellow thing and will it run doom? I think the answer is yes. Pew, pew, pew. So here is uh, Platform IO. Now, what's running is the, um, what do you call it, Visual Studio with Platform IO installed in it. So if we go to like about Visual Studio code, it's Visual Studio. Um, uh, it adds this little alien icon here. I'm calling it an alien, maybe it is, or maybe it isn't. <laughs> but um, that's where you start creating projects. So I created a new project, for example. I called it the TTO Platform IO Doom. Oh, that's not where I want to go. I'm still, still learning my way around. Um, projects. Uh, open. There we go. Open the master here. Okay, so here's all the information. And what I did is I installed it via a zip. So I guess if I go back a little bit here, well, within a new project, sorry, you click new project, then you say, I have the zip and you call it different things. So basically I was digging through here to find some things. Um, so here's what it kind of looks like and then it expands out to all this other information. Uh, I had to make a couple quick changes um, in some of the source code and I'm trying to remember where it was exactly. So I'm just gonna click around and talk while I find it. Classic. Oh, here's that flash wad that you're going to need later. Um, gosh, I dug in. Was it PIO build? Uh, sorry. You know what? I will go check and come back. Okay, found it. <laughs> um, in the, you'll see here TTGO do master source. I'll make this a little bigger maybe. Isn't that better? Uh, TTGO config.h, Lily go watch. 2020 version 3. I commented out version 1 and I added the line for version 3. I did change it in a couple other places but this seemed to be the only place that made any real difference. And then down here you'll see this little check mark. You click that check mark and it starts uploading the code and it creates this terminal. And um, this is going to run, I'll probably fast forward through this because it's not super exciting maybe, but it's, oh, well, it's quick, super exciting. <laughs> then um, I tried installing, um, there's a thing where you do it on the command line, but I didn't have the right kind of environment. So there's a great little thing down here, new terminal under miscellaneous. And you click the little alien and it brings this up. So new terminal. And then in here, I ran, uh, not that, a flash wad. So dot flash wad, and then you have to make sure you have the right USB that it's connected to, uh, or where it's connected to under dev. So if you do, if you're not sure where it is, um, I went to, this is always uh, home. Yep, home. And then if you, you can actually close this to make it easier to read. So you go to home, uh, devices. Oh, mine's not connected right now. That's always fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it. Uh, and you'll see it pop up. It's got to boot for a second, but it should all of a sudden, okay, it's coming up right now. And it'll be dev. Let's do a refresh here. Refresh. Don't make me a liar. Where are you? Be my friend. What's up? That's weird. Okay, that was quite a journey. I have, <laughs> I try, it stopped working on my Mac. I could not mount the, the watch for the life of me. I uninstalled, reinstalled, did all sorts of stuff. I uh, installed a Windows VM on my machine, thinking maybe that would somehow help and all the software, nope. So now I'm on my Linux box and this took a long time too, but it does seem to recognize it now right here as this USB device, which took a long time. I don't know if it's actually going to work, but I just compiled it and let's uh, let's push it up there. I kind of forget where we left off. This was like yesterday, <laughs> 24 hours ago. Um, so yeah, it should push it to the watch. And then after that, uh, so I, I did download this, um, the uh, master uh, TT Go Do Master from Unlimited Bacon. And uh, <laughs> I love that name and um, you know, unpacked it and picked it, all that good stuff. 
So we're pushing it up, and then after this, we have to um, install this flash wad. And you do the uh, dot slash flash wad, and then you you, know, you copy kind of what device, so it's on this device. And that's the port, oh, failed. Upload error. I think this might be similar to what I was seeing before, where it would connect in the very, when I first plugged in, I'd like, oh, I see it sometimes, then you'd see it, but it really wasn't accessible. I know it says there's a broken pipe error, but uh, this upload error tells me that this looks so familiar that this just wasn't working before. Dang, okay, back to the drawing board. More later. Okay, it's been a little while. So I've been on a little journey. I tried to upgrade my version of Raspberry Pi operating system from Buster to Bullseye and just totally mangled the system, which is actually for the best in the long run. So I installed a new version of just Bullseye, grabbed the new image, etched it to the little memory stick, and here we are, we're looking at it right now. It's much faster. I think the other uh, operating system might have been a little slower, and then I also had a ton of other stuff running, and it tinkered so much that um, it just wasn't running well. Now, that's the good news, I guess, that, you know, I've got that going. The bad news is it still doesn't see the device. I am bummed. You know, and if I do an upload, it'll, it'll build it, but then it'll just fail <clears throat> as it goes to upload it. However, I do actually have it uploaded on the watch, so I think I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Um, and it's pretty sweet. Uh, uh, the controls are a little funky, but you'll, I'll, I'll show you about that. And um, I guess I'll keep trying to figure it out. I've, I've tried all sorts of different drivers. I've been reading all sorts of different um, blogs and whatnots. And I've uh, communicated with the company and people out in Australia who've been very nice. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, maybe uh, the next thing I'll try hooking up to a Windows laptop. That's probably going to have the right drivers. I don't know if the watch is in some funky state. That's, I guess, one of the negatives. This watch doesn't have like a reset button or a boot button or anything you can kind of, you know, physically toggle. I've tried different cables, USB 2, USB 3 ports, etc., etc. No dice. No dice, no dice. So I'm kind of frustrated. I'd really like to, I have a bunch of other ideas I want to do with this, but it's kind of at a standstill. Um, so it's building, and I guess maybe I'll fast forward through it a bit here. Okay, there it is, it failed again, um, as expected. But uh, keep watching and you can at least check out what the game looks like. Okay, so here it is. Notice there's a little flicker along the top there. Now, uh, it's loaded, I added the WAD file. Uh, there's just one issue, the X, the tilt axis is off. And I don't know why, but I'll work on that. But first I just wanted to show you, so you push the button in for two seconds, it brings up the menu, now the touch screen, you can move up and down, tap, new game, we'll just start the first episode. Boop, come on. And then uh, I'll start easy. Oh, okay, not easy. Um, so forward and back should be forward and back, but instead left is forward and right is back. You can see they're kind of, it's kind of mixed up. But then you tap the screen to shoot, bang, bang. So let's go find somebody. So let's see, forward is unfortunately this way. And then I have to, I really have to think about this. It's, uh, we'll get it right. But uh, right now I've been looking through the code and I just cannot figure it out yet. Oh, here's some things to, whoop, whoop. that's what I mean. It's a little hard to figure out here. So, uh, was it, uh, oh, geez, I cannot remember. <laughs> but I, I just wanted to show it to you. So it, it is It is the, you know, it's the original game, and it's pretty playable. And imagine if it was on your wrist and the, you know, left and right actually worked, that'd be pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. Sorry for the glare from the window. But yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick demo. Looks familiar, huh? Old school fun, yeah. Bang, bang, bang. 